I'm here to tell you about my son Daniel, our son Daniel. Ray and I had one child, one only child, one, one very loved child, um, Daniel. Daniel died on the 22nd of January this year as a result of an accidental heroin overdose following a journey of nine years of heroin use. Um, Daniel always seemed to be wise beyond his years and uh, he taught us so many lessons. He taught us uh, tolerance, he taught us compassion um, and patience. Patience we never thought we had. Uh, compassion because he was a very compassionate person because he had just seen the low side of life and um, what drugs and alcohol could do to people. Daniel was only 28 when he died. He had a, his whole life ahead of him. And we grieve not only for his loss, but for the loss of future potential, of his future potential. He was the child who taught the parent in his very short time. There is no doubt about that. He enriched our lives in every way. And he has left a huge void in our lives. But at the same time, he would not want us to crash and crumble. He would be very guilty about that. He would want us to get through and to let everyone know that it just strikes into every family. Uh, that would be his message. And, and to hang in there and to be compassionate um, and to stand by your family member. We struggled um, for a couple of months and um, in desperation I asked a friend where I could turn for help. And um, I initially asked her if she could help me. She was a counsellor and we both quickly found that she was very much out of her depth and she gave me a couple of phone numbers to ring and she said they may be able to help me and of course one of them one of the phone numbers I looked down at and I saw it was a phone number to ring and the organization was family drug support um, I rang them and it was uh, a, just an amazing relief uh, to hear that voice on the end of the phone who understood exactly where I was coming from and who offered to send me out some information and uh, asked if I would like to go any, to any of their support meetings. People have said to me, oh, you're so brave. Well, I can tell you that I'm not the brave one. My son was the brave one because he was the one who just fought his demons until the day he died. He knew the risks of injecting and he was careful as what he could be. But something just went terribly wrong that morning. He just became too complacent. And he probably thought he was bulletproof. You know, um, and when you, when you live with a, uh, a drug dependent person, it's not all doom and gloom. Sometimes there are some, uh, some funny moments. Um, and if he was ever unstable on his uh, medication, he became highly animated and mo very motivated to do all sorts of things, you know. He'd clean the car and clean the house and chase the cat. And um, so we had some fun times as well, you know. Um, um, that was the light-hearted side of it. Um, yeah, lots of good memories along the way. And that's what we will hold.